Hi, this is Ankur Malu. In this video, we are going to see how we can reset the RBAC admin or the BL admin user password. These instructions are helpful when you forgotten the RBAC user password or any other user which has the RBAC admins role because you cannot log into BSA console to access the RBAC manager. So this procedure will reset all the SRP user password under the RBAC manager and uh, we will proceed to reset the BL admin and the RBAC admin user password. I will log in to my app server and I will execute Blade Logic configuration wizard from the NSH prompt and I will ensure that I am in directory NSH BR. I will execute blabconf. This will open up the Blade Logic configuration wizard where I will see that I could not reset the RBAC admin password or the BL admin password and the options are grayed out. So it will just take 5-10 seconds more to load. Okay, so this has load. I will click on OK and I will directly go to user password. So here I can see the password field for the RBAC admin user and the BL admin user are grayed out. And since I cannot log into the BSA console as a RBAC admins role, I do not have access to RBAC manager to reset those passwords. So I will click on cancel. And now we will see how we can enable these areas in the blade logic configuration wizard to reset the RBAC admin and the BL admin password. To reset the password, I need to log into my DB server. Since I am using a SQL server here, I will log into SQL Management Studio and will connect to my BSA database. So I will I need to run few queries here and then I would be able to reset the password using Blade Logic Configuration Wizard. Since these are the changes which has to be done on the database side, do ensure that these instructions are performed by your DBA. So the first query uh, which I need to run is delete from system underscore property where name equal to t pass wd dot conf underscore created underscore on. I will select this query and will execute. So this has affected zero rows and now the next SQL query which I need to run is update BL user set password equal to single quotes exclamation mark and I will execute this query as well. So this has updated six records and if you are using an Oracle database, you just need to run one more command that is to commit the statements, commit and exclamation mark. Since I'm using a SQL database, I'm not going to commit this. Now I will connect back to my app server and run the blabconf again to see if those parameters are enabled to reset the password. So I will run the blabconf and this will again prompt the blade logic configuration wizard. So now I could see that Blade Logic Configuration Wizard is open and I will go to user password. So now we do not have the password field grayed out and we can set the password for the RBAC admin user and the BL admin user. So I will reset it to a new password. And now I will click on OK. And now I can launch my BSA console and could see validate that my password is working fine. So I will open up my BSA console and will try to log in using the new password which I have just now set and I could see that I will be able to log in and now I can modify any RPAC admin user password. Thank you for watching the video. Stay tuned for new videos.